Good afternoon, my name is Victor and I will present a work called The Power Globalizing World. Uh, surely everyone here is no Coca-Cola. The Coca-Cola company headquartered in Atlanta in the United States in 1892 produced the famous soda. Originally considered as a patent drug uh, uh, when it was invented in the 19th century by John Pemberton, was presided by a businessman, Isaac Briggs. Whose with uh, advertising tactics make one of the most consumed uh, sodas in our world. For an example is me. I drink Coke and I even have a collection of bottles and cans. You have also consumed or hear about Apple, or one of the one of the biggest comp uh, technology companies uh, that was created by Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak. 1976 in Cupertino, California. It currently owns many well-known products such as the iPhone and the iPad, and making annual releases in, in prom promising more and more technology. Both both brands are both brands are are featured in every country, being a perfect example to show the process of globalization. But what would this process is? Uh, the, the process of globalization is spread worldwide and uh, the phenomenon uh, sh uh, is shows the, the represents the integration of different locations uh, through the advances promoting the field of communication and transport, uh, providing a global relationship in economic, political and cultural and social levels. Uh, among the advantages of the globalization is the reduction, the first and the major one is the reduction of time and, and, and distance, showing a phenomenon that David Harvard called space time compression. That made possible to the made possible to the spread knowledge and news more quickly, and quickly breaking down physical and political barriers around the world. Another aspect that can be considered positive about the globalization process is the reducing the average price of the products. Make, and many products become cheaper and more evident around the world. Uh, for a clear example is the Coca-Cola. Uh, among the disadvantages of the globalization is the, is the unequal way in which it, it expands, almost benefiting the most, the most economically developed countries. And and arriving uh, late or incompletely to other regions, making them economically dependent. Another disadvantage, also uh, related to inequality, is in the direction of information flows. Some regions, especially in developed countries, can easily ex uh, expand their values and information, while it's in, uh, which is not the case with the more developing countries. For, for example, French, American, and English cultures are easily recognized all over the planet, while other cultures are marginalized. Uh, the greatest example of this unequal process is the is the greater, is the fact that 80% of the US population has access to the internet, one of the main means of transmitting information in our globalized world. While in developing countries around, uh, such as Guatemala, uh, Honduras, and Senegal, less than 20% of, of the population has access to the internet. Another example is, the, is that in developed countries have high GDP, while in the developing countries have low GDP. For example, in Norway's GDP is around 398.8 billion of dollars. However, in the Niger GDP, it's around 3.7 billion of dollars. And this process, in still in economic aspect, the average income uh, in the developing countries is high and generally evenly distributed, while in the developing country is low and is low and unevenly distributed, because these countries only uh, only export cheap materials to developed countries. That you use to manufacture high price products and evenly and evenly make them uh, increasingly 
profitable. This is why it's important for all, all countries to organize mainly in the economic area to the agreements for to allow a better distribution of money. And in addition, the governments should invest some of their public money in establishing network uh, establishing networks for a better integration and in information, especially in schools. For example, in Brazil, around 28% of schools have access to the internet and computers. There is a very low average compared to the global one. And thus enabling the population of developing countries to for a better uh, to for a better access to the information, technologies and improve the quality of life. Thank you so much.